Sulfur dioxide is a toxic gas that is emitted when fuels containing sulfur, including coal, are burnt. Between 1997 and 2017, coal-fired power plants were responsible for 90% of all sulfur dioxide emissions generated by the United States power industry. Historically, most coal in the United States was mined in subsurface mines in the Appalachian region. The coal from this region is energy-rich, but also has a high sulfur content. This means that when this coal is burned, a large amount of sulfur dioxide is released. Recently, more coal has been mined in the western United States, where coal contains a lower sulfur content and releases less sulfur dioxide when it's burned. In addition to sulfur dioxide, coal-fired power plants are also a large source of mercury, particulate matter, and nitrogen dioxide emissions, which are harmful to both human health and the environment. Let's look at how different federal acts regulate the harmful emissions produced by coal-fired power plants. Since it was passed in 1977, the Clean Air Act has been responsible for reducing a variety of harmful emissions, including sulfur dioxide and other emissions from coal-fired power plants. National Ambient Air Quality Standards and the Clean Air Act's Acid Rain Program are responsible for some of the greatest reductions in emissions from coal-fired power plants.